Hello everyone. Welcome to Come Sit at My Table. We are Tom and Melissa and we are thrilled that you're here to watch our video today. We are going to make a recipe that I have been using for 30 years this month. 30 years ago in 1993, I got this recipe from a friend that we taught school with. And my goodness, how many times have we made it over the years? This was a recipe that our kids loved. It's called pineapple ice, and it is the perfect summer treat. If you have kids or grandkids, or if you or your spouse have a sweet tooth, you'll love this summer recipe. Let's talk about what you're going to need for pineapple ice. First, you're going to need two cups of water, just plain water. And we're gonna go ahead and add that to our saucepan and get it started heating because we need it to come to a boil. So two cups of water. Next, you're going to need one and a half cups of sugar. And that's going to go right in with the water and let that sugar start to dissolve. So there's one cup. And here's half a cup. Now that needs to boil for five minutes. So I'm going to give it a stir, let it start to dissolve in there and start to heat up. And then we'll talk about what else we need for this recipe. There aren't many things. Literally there's four ingredients and water is one of those. So it's not much, but I'm telling you it is a really, really nice treat. I cannot even begin to count the number of times we have made this. Um, our kids absolutely loved it when they were growing up. Now that they're gone, we don't make it as much, but Melissa and I love it. So we still have it in the summer sometimes. The next thing you're going to need is orange juice. And you only need two cups of orange juice. So I'm going to shake this up. We know that orange juice tends to settle. Now we use Tropicana Original with no pulp because Melissa does not like pulp in her orange juice. And I just tell you, I don't like orange juice, period. But I love it in this recipe. You will not taste the orange juice, or not much of it anyway. So let's get two cups, if I can... I should have had my glasses on. If I can get it measured out here. Two cups of orange juice. And we're gonna put that in just a freezer safe container. I've got a Rubbermaid container here. So we're gonna put our two cups of orange juice. And then we need four cups of pineapple juice. Whatever pineapple juice you have is fine. We're using Dole 100% pineapple juice, has no sugar added, but that really doesn't matter if you have sweetened pineapple juice. Just make it a little sweeter. So let's make sure we shake this up good. All right. And we need four cups of pineapple juice. And this you are gonna taste. Yes, this will taste, that's why it's called pineapple ice. It tastes like pineapple juice, it tastes like pineapple. Now, I will tell you that this is unusual for me to make this amount. This is a single recipe. Normally when we made it, when our kids were home, I always doubled it. Sometimes I would triple it because this amount would last us I don't know, a couple days at the most, maybe. All right. So this is a small batch for us. And I'm just going to stir those two juices together. All right. Now I'm going to go back over and check my sugar water. Now, you know, I, I'm sure most of you know, I shouldn't, I probably don't even have to say this, but all we're doing right here is making a simple syrup. 
Simple syrup is just sugar and water that is boiled together so that the sugar dissolves. You let it boil for anywhere from five to 10 minutes so that it thickens slightly. And then it's used to sweeten drinks or desserts or whatever you're making that you need sweetness added to. Um, it's really good to put in tea if you like sweet tea. So we're just gonna bring that to a boil. We'll let it boil for five minutes and then we'll take it off the heat. Let it cool for just a few minutes. You don't wanna put it into your juice while it's boiling, but we'll add it to that. We'll come back and let you see us do that. We're gonna boil this for five minutes and we'll be back. We have boiled our simple syrup, our sugar water for five minutes. I have let it cool for just a few minutes even though the recipe has always said cool completely, I've never done that. I don't have time to sit around waiting for this sugar water to cool. So I have let it cool for a few minutes. It is still kind of steamy, but we're going to add it to our juice. So two cups of water, a cup and a half of sugar, boiled for five minutes. We're stirring it into two cups of orange juice and four cups of pineapple juice. And we're just going to stir that in to make sure it gets mixed in really well. And folks, that's it. Now we have to freeze it. Now this is not a dish that you're going to make in the morning and have with your lunch. It takes hours for this to freeze. So, we have to stir it. What, what we're looking for is an icy consistency, kind of like a slushy, maybe even a little more frozen than a slushy. So we have to stir this at the beginning about every hour. And then as it starts to freeze, and you can, you can tell that it's gonna start getting kind of slushy-like. When that happens, then you need to start stirring about every 30 minutes. And as it gets almost completely frozen, you need to stir every 15 minutes. If you don't, it will freeze solid. It'll just freeze into a solid block. If that happens, all is not lost. <laughs> and I know that because I've done that a time or two. I've made it, put it in the freezer, and I forgot it. All you have to do if that happens is take a fork and scrape across the top and it will flake it up. It'll, it'll kind of turn it into a slushy type mixture. It is better, in my opinion, if you keep stirring until it's to the right consistency. Okay, so we're going to put this in. I usually take a lid and just lay on top. I don't seal it completely um, because if you do, it's gonna take even longer. So we're going to put this in the freezer. I'm going to start stirring it every hour to 45 minutes. I'm not going to bring you back and show you every time I stir it because this video would be forever long but I will bring you back a time or two when the consistency of it starts to change, when it starts to freeze and let you see what it's like. So it's going to be a couple of hours, two th hours, three hours, before we come back and let you see what it looks like. Just know that I am stirring it about every hour. All right, let's get it in the freezer. Okay, let it freeze. Our pineapple ice has been in the freezer for about four hours, just a little over four hours. And I have stirred it three or four different times. So we're going to stir it again and let you see how it's starting to freeze. All right, this is at about four hours, four hours and 20 minutes. You can see how it's a little frozen here on top. And if I stir it, the center of it is still liquidy, you can see that, but it's freezing around the edge. So we just want to stir it, get all that broken up, break up those chunks of ice as much as we can. You don't want a big chunk like that left in it because that'll just freeze solid. So just go around and kind of break it up a little bit and see some pieces here along the edge. Sometimes I just take my spoon and mash them. 
just to break it up. You don't want any big chunks left. Sometimes I just take my spoon and take the edge and break them like that. Okay. It's been four hours. I told you this is not a fast recipe. You'll probably want to do this at least the day before you're planning to serve it. Don't tell your kids, hey, I'm making pineapple ice today, because they'll get all excited and they won't get it until late at night or the next day. All right, I think I've gotten most of it broken up. There's one last chunk right there. Okay, so look at this consistency now, Melissa. You can see it's almost to the consistency of a slushy. See that? Really runny applesauce. That's a good description. It does look like applesauce. It's not quite thick enough. Okay, but it's not applesauce, I promise you. All right. So, we're going to cover it and go right back in. We'll keep stirring. I'll probably start stirring it about every 30 minutes now instead of every hour. And when it starts to get firmer, we'll bring you back and show you the next step. It's been seven hours since we first put our pineapple ice into the freezer. So let's check it. We have been stirring this. Well, we started stirring it every hour. Then we moved to every 30 minutes. And this is what we have. You can see that it is thick. It's icy. It is continuing to freeze. There's still a little bit in the bottom that's not frozen. But you can see the consistency of it. It's, it's slushy. It's like, um, it's almost like those ices that we used to buy at the store. You know, the, the cup that had a dome lid and was called an icy. I think they still have those in some places, some don't places. they? Some places. The cherry was always my favorite. Yeah, I don't remember which was my favorite. I didn't get them very often. Well, but you, you can see... You neglected as a child then. I, I, I guess I was. We didn't get that kind of stuff. In fact, we were told when we went in the store not to ask for anything. It's kind of a highlight <laughs> of going to, you know, some okay. stores. Well, you can see where we are so far. You can see that, you know, you can pile it up. It's, it's frozen, but we're still not finished. We're going to continue to stir about every 30 minutes until it is completely frozen and kind of um, like flaked ice. Now, I will tell you, at this point, I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and have a scoop. You want to share one with me? I'll take a bite. Okay. Absolutely. So, we'll just go ahead and have a little bit. But here, can you look right here? I don't know if you can see this or not, but look how that's still not frozen. Mm. Can you see that? Yes. See that right there, how liquidy that is? So, there's still some in here that is not frozen. That's why we have to continue to stir. Otherwise, it will freeze into a solid block. So, let me put it back into the freezer. Let's get a spoon. You ready for a bite? Sure. Here you go. I love a bite. Princess bite. Here you go, princess. What do you think? Mm. Super refreshing for the summer. This is so good for summer. Love that pineapple flavor. Mm. Me too. Even though we're tasting this, this is not the end of the video because we have to continue to stir. But there's no reason you can't go ahead and start eating on it. All right, I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes and we'll continue to stir. In another couple of hours, we'll be back and let you see what it looks like. Well, our pineapple ice is ready. Now this has been an all day project. It's not a hard project. It's very, very easy. But you do have to be home and stir your pineapple ice 
about every hour at the beginning and then every 30 minutes or so the last half of the, the freezing time. We started this 10 hours ago. So please don't let that discourage you. I know that sounds like it takes forever. 10 hours is a long time. But if you're going to be home anyway, all you have to do is set your timer and stir it every hour at the beginning, 30 minutes toward the end. And this is the deliciousness that you'll get to enjoy. That is pineapple ice. Let me stir it so you can see the consistency. Remember when we started this video, it was just liquid. It was pineapple juice, orange juice, sugar, and water. And now we have this icy, flaky, delicious summer treat. I will promise you, if you make this, you are going to have people falling all over themselves asking how you did it and how they can get some more of it because it's just that good. All right. There you go. And I'm going to have a bite. I might even convince somebody else to have a bite. I got missed. You think? Put myself in the arm. All right. This is so good. This tastes like summer. All right, babe, here you go. That's just absolutely wonderful. It's a great summertime treat, it really is. And you know, this holds such good memories for us because our kids love this stuff. We made it a lot when we were at the beach or on summer vacations. Oh yeah. It was great when you would come in, it was hot inside and you were hot. Right. If you're going to the beach, you definitely need to make a batch of this. It's just so good. If your kids play outside all day or you come home from a soccer match or baseball. a baseball game, you know, and your kids are hot and sweaty. They're going to love this. It's so refreshing. It's fruity. It's icy. It's really good. I think you're going to love it. Please don't let the fact that it takes all day, 10 hours in our case here, don't let that discourage you from doing it. You're going to love this dish. And we do want to thank Debbie for sharing this recipe with me 30 years ago this month. All right, if you would, we would appreciate you going right below this video and giving us a thumbs up. It just says you liked it and it helps our video get shared more. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell beside of it. And remember that right under this video, there's a description box. You'll see the title of the video. If you'll click in that box, that box will expand and you're gonna find this written recipe in that box. So you can look at it. You don't have to try to write it down as we go. All right, thank you so much for watching our videos. We appreciate it. Thank you for the kind comments. And remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day.